All right, so it's time to carry on, and now we're going to tackle that music bundle. So I'm going to minimize the iTunes window, and I'm going to come down here below the No Rest Album folder. I'm going to right-click the screen, go to New, select Folder, and create a new folder. I'm going to call this uh, uh, Music Bundle Unzipped. All right, you can call it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go up to the Music Bundle folder. I'm going to double-click it. And you see that Music Bundle folder? I'm going to double-click that. And I've got three folders inside. Each one is an album. I've got Action, No Rest, and Parallel Inspiration. I click on Action. Then I hold the Shift key down and click on Parallel Inspiration. That selects all three of these. Then I'm going to click and drag them all into the Music Bundle uh, unzipped folder and let it go. <clears throat> so right now it's copying the files or it's starting the process of copy them, copying them. Now it's probably going to take a few, uh, a few minutes to get this done. In the meantime, I'm going to pause this video. Don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll start recording again if there's anything new you need to know during this process. And I'll pick up after it's done uh, copying those files over. Alright, so we got this little pop-up just like we did for the No Rest. Do you want to copy this file without encryption? Yes, I do. We don't need encryption for a simple music file. And I don't want to answer this pop-up for all of them, so again, I'm going to check this little checkbox down here and then click Yes. That way it'll continue on doing what it needs to do. I'm going to pause it again and I'll resume after it's done uh, transferring those files. Okay, so the files are all done transferring and I can X out this window. I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to double click the music bundle window and open that up and I'm going to drag it over to the right hand side just enough so I can still see the action folder, no rest folder and parallel inspiration folder. Now I'm going to open up iTunes and I'm going to go to the bottom where that plus sign is and create a new playlist and I'm going to call this one Action and I'm going to click on the area below it so Action is selected. Come over here to our Action folder, click on it, drag it into iTunes. Again, you see that blue plus sign, that means iTunes will accept it. I let go and ta-da, here are all the songs from the Action album right in our uh, iTunes library. Now if I go up to music, you can see the action album has been loaded along with no rest. Now if I just want to see the action one, action songs, I click on action down here on the playlist. Just the no rest songs, I click the no rest playlist. See how easy this is? Now I'm going to go down and hit the plus sign, create another playlist. We'll call this one Parallel Inspiration. Alright. Now I'm going to go over here and you guessed it, I'm going to click and drag the Parallel Inspiration folder right into iTunes piece of cake, right? Has all the songs in it, not a problem. Now I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to click uh, a new playlist. We're going to call this No Rest 2. Now I have had occasions before where I couldn't drag a folder for whatever weird reason. And here's what I did and it works for me. So we're going to go to this No Rest folder. Now we already loaded No Rest, but don't worry, I'm going to show you this technique anyway. Uh, instead of dragging a whole folder into iTunes, I just selected all the files, all the music files, clicked, and I dragged those into iTunes. So, you know, maybe there was something else in the folder that iTunes wouldn't accept. I couldn't honestly tell you the answer, but, you know, it works for me. So now we have no rest, too. We don't really need it, but we have it. Now, let's say you want to burn a CD. Let's say you want to burn all the songs from Action. I click on the Action playlist. Come down to the bottom right hand side, see that little burn disc button? Well, that's exactly what you want to do. You're going to click right on that button. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, iTunes is being a little slow processing this request. And right here you get a little uh, pop-up window. And I'm going to go ahead in the next video, I'll walk you through this, talk you through it. Uh, then we're going to put the songs on the iPod and you're good to go.